Digestion Channel. Today we are doing a little bit of a chit chat. Um, I just wanted to say that moderation and balance is the key. Uh, you know, for those of you who've been following my channel, um, I have went from a vegan diet to a non-vegan diet. building muscle and so forth and um, so that being said I'm still incorporating my regimen into this new regimen but like I'm not doing the egg whites and the weird stuff I I have trouble with that guys I believe in whole foods I truly do I believe that if you were out in nature and uh, you know foraging for your life you wouldn't be separating the egg yolks guys okay you need the yolk and you need the white dr berg has a video on it and i firmly believe in that so that being said i'm just i'm kind of using my brain with what i've learned from being on a plant-based diet on a vegan diet which i really have learned a ton and on this healing journey that I've been on to heal and detoxify my body, my digestion is working amazing. Like, I am shocked at how well I am digesting chicken and rice. And I'm eating these types of foods. That's what I've been eating is like chicken and rice last couple of days. And getting those ratios right and eating the, the right amount of vegetables with it and staying away from the restaurants guys that is critical 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 these places god only knows what you're eating when you eat out at a restaurant i'm sorry i know there's nice ones i know there's expensive ones and blah 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 but every time i eat at these places i get some major chronic issue but what i want to say about maya what I have to say about that is I'm feeling great. I just got back from the gym. That's another thing. I've been going to the gym. So, uh, you know, drinking water, getting the right amount of water, drinking lots of water is so important. And so that's another thing. And um, not exercising too much at the gym. And, you know, that's another thing. I've learned to not do and um so it's that it's that balance and that moderation and guys nobody can figure that out for you you have to figure it out for yourself by trial and error and listening to your body don't try to keep up with you know all of these people that are doing all of these different things and what they eat and stuff you can really fall into that very dangerously and Plug it into chronometer. If you don't know what chronometer is, I'll do a video on it. But guys, plug it into chronometer. See where you are with your calories and your fats and your daily requirements. 
and so forth. You know, take you a, a multivitamin. That is critical. Finding a good supplement, guys, is so important. Uh, you know, and those types of things. Um, so, uh, let's, I just wanted to have this little chit chat of where I am on moderation and balance and so forth and uh, I'm gonna give you a little clip a sneak peek of what I did at the gym today and um, then I'm gonna be showing you what I'm gonna be eating Okay guys, um, what we're doing now is I'm kind of doing OMOD. I've been fasting for 18 hours, okay? But I'm trying something a little bit different, kind of just going with the flow. But it's similar to a one meal a day. But I'm like fasting during the day and then I'm breaking my fast as late as I possibly can without like really getting hungry because I really feel like I want to be eating more and it's hard for me with eating one meal a day to eat a lot of food because like one bowl of oatmeal you know with my meal it's just hard to get all those calories in with one sitting and uh, so realistically I'm probably eating over about a three or four hour period so I'm probably eating like around from three to seven o'clock and so what I'm having right now is I'm breaking my fast with some orange. So I'm nibbling on this. It's really good. Um, I'm learning to drink water. Drink, drinking my water during the day is so important. Um, even after my meal or in between my mini meals for the four hour period. But eating fruit is really important for my digestion. It really helps a lot. So I love fruit. Okay guys, we got some oats. This is a half a coat, a half of a cup of dry weight oatmeal. Adding some, uh, cinnamon and guys we're not gonna put 
much sugar in these oatmeal in this oatmeal okay so the cinnamon's gonna give it a sweet flavor guys I'm gonna go with a tablespoon of black strap molasses because there's nothing like getting those nutrients in and all that special iron and it really adds a special sweetness stir that around let it get all nice and incorporated into the mixture okay guys we're gonna throw in some um, flax seed I've got roughly about a teaspoon here we're gonna throw that in there let it cook let those soften up Okay guys, pull that off there, gonna let it uh, heat up a little bit with the lid on, just letting it soak in all that goodness, the cinnamon, the black strap molasses, and the uh, so softening up of the um, flax seeds. And then I'm gonna throw in some blueberries, frozen blueberries. Okay guys, well this is getting all beautiful over here and lovely and amazing. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat that. I'm gonna go ahead and fry up a couple of eggs over easy. Okay guys, here we have some two beautiful eggs, one slice of cheese on some a bed of spinach and one piece of whole grain organic toast then we have the oatmeal that i prepared earlier guys and i'm going to add up the calories of this first part of my meal i'm going to tear into the oatmeal first and then i'm going for this baby and i may try to find some salsa to go with this or something okay guys i've got some kimchi that we put on the side and then I went with a little bit of turkey uh, there's probably about three very very small pieces and I'm gonna do the calorie count for all of this this is pretty amazing I'm super stoked about eating this this is definitely gonna fill me up I may not need anything after this I went ahead and plugged everything into chronometer if you don't know what chronometer is check it out I'll leave a link down in the description box for you to go to that link and make your own chronometer account it's absolutely free there's a one you can buy and then there's one that's free but uh, so let me tell you what I did I did let's stop right here after I plugged everything in, I got uh, 800, see there, it's 866, that's how many calories that I consumed, and there on the right, that is how much I need to consume for my body weight and for my daily activities. So I still have about 800 more calories that I need to fulfill in order to get my daily requirements, and guys, by doing this it really does make a difference in how you feel it really truly does and you get to see like your nutritional deficiencies which you're low in if you're low in eating fiber all kinds of things um i've been doing chronometer ever for the last six years ever since i was a vegan on and off and guys it really is helpful it takes a while to figure it out but once you start doing the chronometer and you even if you do it like three times a day or three times a week you will notice you'll start to figure things out you'll start to see how many calories is a mango how many calories is a banana how many calories is you know an egg all of those type of things and what kind of nutrition and fat is in these things and it, you'll just develop a broader picture of what you're putting into your body and what you need to consume on a daily basis. Guys, it makes a huge difference. It's worth the time. In your spare time, just do this. Uh, you know, even if you can do it once a week, guys, that's once a week, you're gonna be able to learn something. So I highly recommend Chronometer, and uh, so yeah. Okay guys, I've got some brown rice. This is really dark ancient grains brown rice. 
and a cup of cooked chicken. This is a cup and a cup ratio. Um, I have a friend that's a bodybuilder and she said when you're trying to build muscle you should eat as clean as you possibly can and eat meat in equal proportions of your vegetables and your whole grains or your potatoes. So that is what I'm doing and I'm going to put about a cup of vegetable soup right on top of this. And that is what is for dinner. So I'm going to plug this in chronometer and I'll let you know where we are on calories. Okay, here's my cup of vegetable soup. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it on top of this. Yum! Okay guys, I went ahead and I added into my chronometer the chicken and rice and the chicken breast was a whopping 424 calories. I was like, wow, that really boosted it up there. And then um, as you can see, I had a, an equal proportion of my calories that I needed. I, need, I had uh, 1,636 and I think I needed 1,696. So that was good. And then after that, I went ahead and ate two of these peanut butter cookies that weren't so healthy, but hey, you got to live a little. And they were like, I kind of like Girl Scout cookies type cookies. And I had two of those and those were like 160 calories. So I had plenty of calories and I got all of my nutrition in. So I'm stopping right there on the food and I'm not going to eat anything else. And I ended eating everything at around 6 o'clock. Oh, I also added a teaspoon of peanut butter. So I really did get the correct amount of nutrition and so forth. And I uh, feel pretty good about it after my workout today. And, uh, you know, it just feels really good to kind of know where to shoot for with your calories. And to be able to get your calories without eating a lot of heavy foods. Like when I was eating vegan, it was so, so very hard to get a lot of calories in for my workouts and so forth. But I feel strong and I feel like I'm getting stronger and stronger every day, thank goodness. And um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it, liked it. Um, I hope you learned something today. Um, in this video and um, don't forget to subscribe like share to my youtube channel uh, go down in the description box and check out uh, chronometer and if you've ever tried it let me know what you think about chronometer and um, if you know anything about bodybuilding or building muscle please leave some comments down below or if you have any questions uh, please answer any questions. I'll be glad to try to answer any questions or make videos on things you're interested in. So, um, yeah, that concludes this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.